Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. So in this video, I'm going to show you a comparison between Camtasia Studio 8 and Camtasia 9. Okay, so I'm here on Camtasia Studio 8 right now. And this is what the version before the new one looks like. And I'm going to be bouncing back through Camtasia Studio 8 and Camtasia 9. I'm going to be bouncing back through the screens so that you guys can see the difference. So right off the bat, this is Camtasia Studio 8 and this is Camtasia Studio 9. Actually, I'm so used to saying the word studio, it's called Camtasia 9. So as you can see, it looks a lot cleaner. It looks a lot more modern. It looks more sleek. It just looks better, it looks more modern. So in the new one, you'll notice that the track here, the tracks are still similar, it's still at the bottom. You now have some things here on the side, annotations, transitions, behaviors, animations, cursor effects, voice narration, audio effects, they're on the side now. Let's click the more button. This is my first time going through this, so it's, it's new to me too. So the, when you click more, they have visual effects, interactivity, and captions. So most things look the same. If you've used Camtasia, the older versions, then I'm sure that you can use this. There, there will be new things to learn, but for the most part, you can navigate through it. So let's import some media. So right off the bat, I can see here that it says import media. So we'll click that. We'll just choose a video. Okay, so far that's pretty much the same. Now, what would happen before is when you wanted to preview the clip that you just imported, you would just like double click it or click the play button. So, like this. And then it would start playing on the screen. So, let's see what happens here. I've double clicked it. Oh, a window just popped up. Oh, okay, so so I don't know how I feel about this, but um, when you double click on your media, a new window pops up on top of the Camtasia 9. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I think I would have preferred it to see it on the screen rather than pop up in a new window, to be honest. So you can make it full screen. Um, Click X. Oh, it's playing again. So I'll just X out of that. Okay, so I don't know how I feel about that with it popping up in a new window. That's different. Let's drag the audio down to the timeline. That's pretty much the same. Okay, but now I've noticed here on the right hand side, there are some options here. So you can play with the scale and let's see here. Okay. Oh, that's like the zoom in basically. You can play around with that. Let's just leave it at a hundred and oh, you can make it light, see through or just original rotation. Okay. And then I guess this is the audio for the video. So you can go up or down, or you can probably just play with it on here. Yep. Okay, so let's leave that as is. And let's see here, properties. Oh, that just, that is properties for that video. So if you click on that, that goes away and then it comes back. Yeah, okay. So another thing that I heard about is they have stuff in the library here. So they have a bunch of pre um, backgrounds and icons and motion graphics that you can use. So let's see here. Triangle dots. What's triangle dots? Again, it opens a new window. I don't really like that. It might be kind of lagging right now because I've got the screen record and Camtasia Studio 8 and 9 open, so it's probably lagging. Um, okay, that looks like a cool animation. That's something I could probably use. Let's click X out of that. 
I won't probably click on these because it will take a lot out of my computer because I've got so many things open right now. But they've got, okay, icons, apartment buildings. Let's see what that looks like. That's cool. You can probably do an animation or something with that. Let's see what else. Business icons calendar. Let's click on that. Okay, cool. 25th. You could probably change the number of that. Let's see what happens when we drag that down. So it's enlarged. And I'm just going to be playing around here, seeing what we can do in the new Camtasia. All right, so there's a giant calendar of 25. Let's see oh, the properties. I keep I keep clicking that. Let's see here. I'm right clicking on it. Um, what else can we do with this thing? You can probably add transition or behaviors to it. Okay, let's leave that for now, the library, uh, that one. And then, okay, so there's motion graphics, music tracks there's how many songs one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's see here video game video game music actually that sounds pretty cool i like it okay cool I thought there would be more tracks. There's only like 10 or 11 tracks or something like that. I thought there would be more. Um, once everyone gets Camtasia Studio 9, everyone's going to use these. Um, but that was a cool sounding track. Let's do, what is this? Technicolor Dreams. Let's hear this. I don't know how that's techno, but... That's more of like a motivational video, I think. Um, but so far, they sound okay. I'd maybe try them out for a couple of videos or short videos. Um, it's cool that they have these things. I'd probably play around and use some of them. All right, so let's go into annotations. So I think this is what in the old one was the callouts when it had all the shapes, right? So those in the callouts, it had the arrows and rectangles and shapes and the you know when you want to draw a check mark or a box around highlight blur things um that's what it was called it was under callouts but i guess here it's called annotations and they look like they have cooler ones now so that was the basic let's see abstract that looks cool urban Okay, legacy. Oh, I guess that's the old stuff. So they definitely have some more options there. Let's, uh, hold on, let's go to basic. Let's just drag one on to the timeline. And then, let's see here. Okay, so we have this. What else can we do here? Angle. Not sure what that does. Oh, you can sort of slightly see an angle shadow changing as I'm clicking around. It's very slight. Probably if you had a, a more plain background, you can see it better. Let's see here, you can blur. I don't really see the blur. Um, ease in and ease out. Cool, okay, color. Is this the text or? Oh, that's the shadow. That's the color of the shadow. Okay, so you can play around with the color of the shadow. So that is definitely more detail than before. Um, let me see here. How do we change the color of the actual properties? Like if I want to make this a different color. This is live right now, so I'm actually figuring this out as you're watching me. 
Okay, so modify, let's see here, add effect, visual effects. Let's go to color adjustment. Oh, okay. Color adjustment. And I just made it gray. Oh, but if you play with the saturation, it brings it back to normal, what it was before. And I guess you can make it more of a deep red, like light red. You can play around with that. All right, so you can play around with the color. There's definitely a lot more detail happening with each thing. So I can see myself taking a bit longer to edit videos now in the beginning until I get sort of like the, the hang of it because I had it down packed when it was Camtasia Studio 8. Like I knew, I know this software in and out because I've literally edited like thousands of videos on this and there was no color correction or shadowing, like anything like this kind of detail. So I can see I will be playing around a lot. So let's move on. Um, that was the first part of the annotations. So there are more arrows and there's like, each thing has like a different style that you can do a drop down menu on. So they've definitely added a lot more stuff. So this is the, oh, the blur and the highlighter here. Seems like this is still the same. The sketch motion, okay. I used these a lot. And the keystroke callouts, I rarely use those. Okay, next is the transitions. And okay, they're categorized. So if you don't wanna go through all of them and there's like a picture so it kind of shows you what it looks like. Let's drag one of them and put it in between these two things. So let's play it. That was very choppy because I've got so many things running but you can see that there was a fade happening in between those. That looked nice. I'll have to play around with these. When I was editing, I mainly played with the fade and the fade through black because I thought like those would be the most professional looking type transitions. I didn't really do anything else because I didn't want it to look too like I wanted to I wanted our videos to have a more of a professional look, so those are the mainly the two that I would use. So I'll play around with those. Next is behaviors. Now this is a completely new thing that was not on the old Camtasia. So you can add these to, I think, video, pictures, um, those icons, and it will give them a behavior. So let's try one of them. Let's do drifting. Let's add it on the the 25th calendar here. So I'll click play. Oh, that was cool. It just like slid in. Oh, and it it did another thing going out. That was that was quite smooth. I, I quite enjoyed that. Now let's see here. The behavior, it's outlined here and Drifting, you, oh, you can change the different types of behaviors and you can do different things. So that was an ease out quint. You can do bounce, ease both, ease in. So there's like a ton of things to play around here. It came from the bottom, so you can probably do it from the top, left, right, speed. There's a lot of things going on there. Cool, so far I'm liking it. Okay, let's move on to animations. Okay, so under zoom and pan, you've got animations, whereas the previous, it had its own button here. And now it's under animations and you basically just click, go there to zoom in and then move the cursor. And then when you're done with the zoom in, you zoom out. So you can go like this. So zoom in, and that thing slides in. It's my little animation here. <gasps> oh, 
and then it's gonna zoom out. Okay, yeah, so it did a slight zoom out. Cool. Okay. Animations, um, I used these a lot when I had like pictures coming in. Um, I could probably still use this and behaviors now. Alright, so let's move on to cursor effects. Okay, so you can do highlight, magnify, or spotlight. Those are pretty self-explanatory. And, ooh, cool, left click scope, sound, ripple, warp, cool, right click, same thing but for left and right. Voice narration, I never really played around with voice narration, um, maybe I'll try it out in the new Camtasia, and let's see here. This is the audio effects. Okay, so if you want to speed things up, fade in, fade out. Visual effects. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. So let's say we wanted, let's do some color adjustment. This is, um, I was pretty excited about the color adjustment, color correction, because I would always need to render a video in Camtasia and then go over to like GoPro Studio and then work with the color there. So now it looks like we can do some color adjustment. So it seems like when you automatically put the color adjustment on the video, it makes it like black and white. So let's bring the color back and not make it so crazy. Oh, so I would need to play around with this. Let's see here, the brightness is very bright. I don't, let's see, let's play it from here. So it definitely brought more vibrancy to the picture there. I will obviously have to test that out and play around with it because it made it very harsh when I added the color adjustment. And the colorize, let's see what that, that will automatically make it green it seems. Oh, and you can add sort of like a filter over top of it if you wanted like a purple filter. That's cool. Let's take that out though. Let's take that out. Okay, so we took that out and let's take the color adjustment out. Okay, so we've just taken those two things off. So I think we went through most of what was happening there. Oh, there's like closed captioning as well um, that I haven't played around with um, that I have to check out. But basically we've gone through most of the things and you can see that it's much more advanced than Camtasia Studio 8. So far I'm liking what I'm seeing. I mean there's things here and there like the pop-up screen when you were trying to look at each media. I didn't like how there was like a new window popping up. But so far, I mean is this, from what I can just tell right now with just playing around with it, is this better than Camtasia Studio 8? I would say yes. It's much more advanced and it looks like it's got more going on. It's like a more Meteor edit editing software. So I'm excited to use it. And I'm definitely gonna be creating a ton of tutorials on this. Once I play around and I get familiar with it, I will be creating a bunch more tutorials on Wednesdays. So make sure to subscribe to this channel because on Wednesdays, these types of videos are gonna be coming out. All right guys, well thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the new Camtasia 9. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you going back to eight? Are you moving forward with this uh, Camtasia 9? Let me know in the comments below. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.